Hey guys, this is Serge and today we'll take a look at how to add the animated scribble effect to your video in Final Cut Pro. Now unfortunately, Final Cut Pro doesn't come with built-in paint tools, so most of the tutorials in YouTube require you to export your video file as individual frames into another app, add your scribbles, then re-import everything into Final Cut Pro. This takes a lot of time. After doing some research, I found a quicker way to add the animated scribble effect to your video using Carmel's Paint X plugin, which I'll link in the video description. Let's take a look at how it's done. Down in my timeline, I have a video clip that I want to add some scribbles to. First thing we need to do is skim the video clip and place a playhead on the frame where we want our animation to start. Press Command B to blade the clip there. Move the playhead to where you want the animation to end and blade your clip again. Next, after downloading and installing Carmel's Paint X plugin, open your effects browser and apply the Track Paint plugin to your video clip. Move your playhead to the start of your clip and in the Video Inspector, in the Track Paint box, click the Open Editor button. Your clip will open up in a separate window where you can add and animate your scribble effect. In the play bar under your clip, make sure the slider is at the start of your clip and near the top of your window, select the paint color tool. On the left hand side, choose the color of your paint and adjust the size and appearance of your brush. Use your mouse or trackpad to draw your scribble in the viewer window. Try to get your first scribble all in one shot. If you make a mistake, press Command Z to undo and start over. If your subject and camera stay still, this is all you need to do. But if there's motion in your shot like mine, you need to move the scribble with it. This is where Paint X really stands out. With your playhead at the start of your clip, on the left hand side, in the layer tracking window, click the pre-tracking options button and set the tracking model option to translate, scale, rotate. Click the track forward button. Paint X will analyze your clip and automatically track your scribble effect to your subject. In my case, since the scribble is around my subject's hands, Paint X will lock onto the hands and move my scribble to wherever the hands move. Also, in my clip, the outline my subject makes with their fingers changes shape, so my scribble changes with it. I want mine to retain the original shape, so from the post track and options, I'll select apply track as and choose translation only. This will retain my original shape and just move it around to follow my subject's hands. After the original scribble is tracked, we can add more scribbles to our image and they will move with the original shape. Let's add some lines coming out from the original scribble and maybe a large soft line inside to look like it's glowing. If I play it back, you can see everything we added after the original heart shape moves with it. Once you're happy with your scribble, click Save Changes and you'll be taken back to your Final Cut Pro timeline. Next, to animate the scribble effect, I have a music track with markers placed on every beat during the scribble part. We'll use these markers to animate the opacity of our scribble to make a flash on and off with the music beat. Place a playhead on the first marker and with a video clip selected, add a keyframe here to the paint opacity slider. Move the playhead to the next marker and go back about 4 frames. Without moving the opacity slider, add another keyframe here. Move one frame forward and bring the opacity all the way down. Move two more frames forward and add another keyframe to the opacity slider. Move your playhead back to the second marker and bring the opacity slider all the way up to 100%. This will make the scribble effect flash off for a couple of frames before the next beat and flash back on just in time for the next beat. Repeat this step for the next couple of markers. For this longer beat, instead of just flashing off, we'll make the scribble fade away gradually. Place a playhead on the following beat and go back 10 frames by holding down the shift key and pressing the left arrow. Bring the opacity slider down to zero. This makes the opacity gradually go from 100% down to zero between these two points for a fading out look. Keep keyframing the opacity for the rest of the clip using either the flash on and off method or fade in and fade out. When done, your finished product should look something like this.
I wish Final Cut Pro had its own built-in paint tools and hopefully it gets added in a future update, but until then, we either have to use Paint X or rotoscope it using another app. The Paint X plugin will cost you about 100 US dollars, but it has so many uses beyond what I showed you. It's $100 well spent. If you want to rotoscope your scribble for free, I'll link a couple tutorial videos for that in the video description. If you would like to see more Paint X features, let me know in the comments below and I can make more videos about it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.